In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add funds to your gaming crypto wallet using an exchange such as Binance, as well as how to transfer money from your bank account to said exchange. So let's get to it. If you've been following along in my previous videos, you should already have a Gala Games wallet and a MetaMask wallet. Those are the ones that we're going to be using for this video. But what you don't have is a centralized exchange. The one that we're going to be using today is Binance. There are several different types of centralized exchanges like KuCoin, Binance, FTX, Coinbase. But I just prefer Binance because of its color scheme. It's easy to use layout and it's the one I'm familiar with. So what you want to do is you want to open up a web browser and head over to Binance.com. If you're in the US, I believe the website is Binance.us. Or if you want 10% off trading fees, you can use my referral link in the description and sign up with that to get 10% off trading fees. Now, once you're on the website, what you want to do is click on the register button on the top right. That will take you to this page where it gives you several sign up options. I'm not going to go through the process of creating a Binance account because it's fairly straightforward and simple. Just follow the instructions. They'll ask you for the usual details, such so as provide them and create your account. But once you've created your account, you should be on the page that looks something like this. I'm just going to click on the moon symbol on the top right. That will change it from light mode to dark mode. Now that's a lot easier on my eyes. So now onto the first step, how to get money from your bank account onto Binance. Well, there's several options available. If you click on the buy crypto button on the top left, it will give you a drop down menu with a couple of options from buying with your credit card, buying from other people or third party payment options. But we're not going to use these options because the fees paid by using these can be quite substantial. We're going to do the bank transfer method, which is generally the cheapest option. So what you want to do is you want to click on the wallet section on the top right and it will give you a drop down menu. In that drop down menu, you want to click fiat and spot. After that, it will take you to this page. You want to type in what currency you're going to deposit. So since I'm in the UK, I'll be typing in Great British Pounds or Pound Sterling. Then you will click on the deposit section. Once you've clicked on the deposit section, it will take you to the deposit fiat page. As you can see, the currency is already selected because we've selected it on the previous page. So if you take a look at the two options below, there's bank transfer and bank card. Bank transfer costs one British pound, whereas bank transfer costs 1.8%. The reason you want to do bank transfer instead of buying it with your card is if you're depositing a hundred pound or a thousand pound, that 1.8% can add up. For example, if you deposit a thousand pounds, that's going to cost you 18 pounds in transition fees. Whereas if you do it by a bank transfer, it's only going to cost you one pound. So you're saving 17 pounds. So select the option you want. I'm going to do bank transfer and press continue. Now on the next page, it'll tell you to enter the amount you want to transfer. For tutorial purposes, I'm going to do a hundred pounds. And as you can see, I'll receive 99 pounds minus the one pound transition fee. After you've selected your amount, press continue. We'll give you this important notes information. Make sure you read it. I've already read it, so I'm just going to press OK. Now it'll take you to the third page, which is transfer money to proceed with the order. So this is the bank account that you need to send the money to. Now I've blurred my details out because I don't want you guys to know what they are. And I recommend that you don't tell anybody these details or any other details for that matter. Just keep it to yourself. So once you've got these details, head over to any bank account app or online banking and transfer the amount you said previously to this account and this information. If it has a referral code, make sure the referral code is the same or the reference is the same, because sometimes if you don't include that, it could take quite a lot of time to receive your transfer. As always, it's a good idea to always transfer a little amount first. But as you can see here, I did a 10 pound test transaction make sure it was transferred to the right account then after that account was confirmed and i received the money into my account i then did the original transfer of 100 pounds once you've received the text message or email saying that the deposit has been confirmed what you want to do is you want to head over back to the binance page you want to click trade and hit binance convert now i'll take you to this page we're going to convert 99 pounds into ethereum and we'll be using that ethereum later in another video but once you've hit convert, it'll take you to this page and it'll give you five seconds to confirm the order. If you're happy with what you see, press convert. After a successful conversion, it'll take you to this page. It'll show you how much pounds was converted into how much Ethereum. Now, if you head back over to the fiat and spot section, you should see that your currency has been converted to Ethereum. But now that you have Ethereum, how are you going to transfer it to your MetaMask wallet or your Gala Games? But what you want to do is you want to press withdraw. Once you've pressed withdraw, it will take you to this page here. 
Now I have whitelist enabled, so I'm going to have to add it to my address book. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. I recommend you turn on all the security features that are available, such as two-factor authentication, email, SMS, as well as whitelisting addresses. This is just because if anybody gains access to it, it'll be harder for them to withdraw your funds or your cash to their account. So let's proceed with adding my address to the whitelist. You want to click on the little icon here. It will take you to your address book. Now your address book is going to be blank, but I've got some addresses here already, but they're blurred out. You want to click add new address. It'll take you to this page here and you want to click on the yellow button that says add address. Once you've clicked on the button, it will take you to this page. This is the page where you need to add all the details of the account you're going to transfer your money to. So we're going to be using a Gala Games account and if you've been following the previous videos, you've already imported the Gala Games account to your MetaMask. So just head over to your MetaMask and copy the public address. And you want to paste that public address in the section which says address. Also make sure you have a relevant name. So I'm going to call mine Gala Games Ethereum. And make sure you select the coin that you're transferring. So since we've converted our pounds to Ethereum, we're going to be selecting Ethereum because that's the currency we're going to be using. Now the most important thing is make sure you select the right network. If you do not select the right network, there are chances that your funds or your crypto could get lost. So we're transferring the Ethereum crypto on the Ethereum mainnet. This is the ERC20 token. If you are transferring on a Polygon mainnet or the Binance Smart Chain, you would have to select the network as Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. These are the networks that we added in our MetaMask video when you created your MetaMask wallet. Once everything is complete and you're happy with what you put in there, just double check the address and the network. Click on the little whitelist section here and then press save. Once you press save, it'll take you back to the address management and you'll be able to see that the address that you've just added is there. What you now want to do is, is go back to the withdraw crypto tab. So from the address book, you want to select the address that you've added. As you can see here, I've selected Gala Games ETH and then you want to select the withdraw amount. Now, since I transferred 100 pounds, I'm just going to do all of it. And the best way to do that is if you just click max and it will tell you how much the transition fee is and how much you're going to receive on the other end. If you're happy with what you see and everything checks out, press withdraw. Once you've pressed withdraw, if you've added to the whitelist, it's going to ask you for some security options. So I've enabled everything. So it's going to ask me for email, a SMS and a two center author application code. I recommend you do this to make sure your funds are safe. Once you've got the codes from your email, SMS and um, authentication app, you're going to press submit. After you press submit and the codes are successful, it will say awaiting approval. Now, this can take anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of hours, depending on how busy the network is. And generally, Ethereum is really busy. But since it's a quiet day today, I thought I'd do this video. To check if the transition is completed, just scroll down a bit to the recent withdrawals page and it will tell you the status if it's pending or if it's complete. If it says complete, head over to the MetaMask extension or your Gala Games wallet and see if the funds are in your account. As you can see here, we've received the funds in our Gala Games account and I'm looking at it through MetaMask. If you haven't seen the previous video where it teaches you how to import your external wallet into MetaMask, check that out. It's easier and convenient to be able to check all your balances in one place. So that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully that's taught you guys how to transfer money from your bank account to a centralized exchange and then from that centralized exchange to your gaming crypto wallet. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button as well as that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you guys get updated when I release more videos. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.